Hey there YouTube, Super Brain AK here, and well, I've got a my 1500 watt boost converter. Um, still working on the 3000 watt boost converter project. That's sitting over there, but I figured I'd just keep it simple and upgrade the MOSFET driver circuit. So I just added a TC4420 onto it and use that. Now I was going to use this power supply, which is a LM2596HB uh, running off the main input, but since I currently only have it on 12 volts, because I want to do an apples to apples comparison to the previous video that I did with one of these, I uh, uh, the voltage was too low and you can see this other MOSFET over here not the original one it's a dead short so I had to remove it put a uh, uh, IRF P260 in it and that should work now so, if this is a long video, then it's going to work for a little while. If this is a short video, it's not going to work very well. But, I've got it powered from my DPS 5005. And I've got some fans over here. And with my PWM controller. And 16 ohms, 16 ohms, 16 ohms. Some sort of ohms. It's a... 1500 watt or uh, 1100 watt space heater and then I've got some relays here that I can turn on and off so yeah so I've got these two E10 energy power meters and I'm going to plug in the servers so I have to run both of them since I turn up plugged in this series module so I have to plug both of them in but it's only running on 12. These are kind of loud and they'll get louder. Make sure I've got a good connection. All right so just have 12 volts coming in on this guy and then this would be for 24 volts, but I'm not going to use that just yet. That'll be, if there survives the 12 volt test, that'll be for the next video. So I'm going to turn on these cooling fans over here. And I can turn those up and down. And I can turn on the MOSFET driver power. And... Make sure you guys can see the input and the output voltage. I'll also, I've got the temperature there on the heatsink. And to make sure that the under voltage lockout is going to turn off, so that when the server does server starts right up, it's not going to turn on. So I'm going to flip this little switch, press the button. Come on. There we go. Oh, I don't know if you can read those. There. 11.6 on the output, 12.07 on the input. So here's the moment of truth. should go to 24, because that's what I had of that before. Hey, it survived the jump to 24 volts. It didn't do that last time. Drawing 
15 milliamps from the uh, uh, power supply on here. And so that's 36 watts. 36 watts out, 38 watts in. You can see that there. So I'm going to flip on one of these relays. And that should engage another heating element. Got 97 watts out, 104 watts in, 169, almost 170 watts out, and 188 watts in. Alright. So I'm going to turn these fans up. So that these elements don't kick out on me. And I guess I can bring the power up, can't I? So, in the last video that I did, we were drawing 35 amps on the input at 12 volts. So that's 25 amps on the input. 300 watts and 252 watts out, eight and a half amps at 30 volts. Not looking too bad. Oh, uh, still 15 milliamps on the MOSFET driver. Yep. And it powered up. The, uh, the power supply went into overcurrent protection. So I'm going to flick these off. And uh, maybe bring the voltage down. Uh, I'll just bring the under voltage lockout back down. Zero amps on the uh, MOSFET drivers. So I don't know why it tripped, because that was only 35 amps, I believe. It still powers up, so the MOSFET isn't fried. So it must have, possibly when I was bumping the uh, the potentiometer, it went up too high. All right, we're back to 31.6 volts. Engage these. 183. 285. So that's 30 amps on the input. Nine volts at 32 volts out. And turned off again. Hmm. Well, ooh, this uh, heat sink is a little warm. Its fan is not spinning. Uh, Thirty-six on the there. So. Maybe we need to jump to 24 volts. Let's go then. Even more power. So, let's see if I can move these around and get this meter back in view. There you go. Probably almost better. Are these heat sinks working? Yeah, probably not. They're actually staying cool. Alright. Flip that off. And this should go to that voltage. These are off. Turn it on. I need to replace this switch. This keeps it's bumping in and out. There we go. 
All right, 24 volts, 62 watts. We're about to 32 volts. So let's see if it can handle the power with now with 24 volts on the input. 184 volt, 184 watts out, 192 watts in. So it's boosting from 24 to 32. 285 watts out, 300 watts in. And that's only 12 amps. This can take 35 amps on the input. So let's crank it. Hopefully this uh, lower power supply isn't bad. Maybe it's kicking out early for some reason. So that's 10 amps out, 350 watts out, and 373, 4 watts in. MOSFET drivers down to 22 milliamps, actually up to. Can we hit 400 and break the record? The uh, heatsink is actually cooling down. At least it's cool. Oop, there we go, 400 watts. So, a little over 10 amps out. 430 watts in. So we're wasting 30 watts in between. Still only drawing 17 amps from the power supplies. Four hundred and thirty. Well, there's twenty amps on the input. Four hundred and fifty, almost. Four hundred and eighty in. Heat sink starting to warm. This inductors, eh, not bad. The output capacitors are getting warm. Maybe that's coupled from the diodes. One, two amps. All right, 500 watts out, 42 volts, 12 amps out, 545 watts in, 22 amps. Can we hit 550? It's only 42 volts. Alright, that's 600 watts in, 25 amps. Having to hit 550, there we go. And this is working very well. Okay. Creeping up at 600 watts, there we go. 46 volts, 13 amps. I can smell these heat sinks. Heaters are getting warm. 700 watts in, 600 watts out. Hmm. Well, I think we gotta go for broke, don't we? Is this fan turning on yet? Oh yeah, the uh, Cooling fan is on, so that's working at least. It's not going to completely blow up. 30 amps in. Whoop. I saw 800 watts on one of the monitors. <laughs> uh, hmm, alright. 12.2 on the MOSFET drivers. Turn those down and see what voltage we went to. Is it going to like jumping that high? 
No. Uh oh, I think I blew the MOSFET. Let's see the. Oops, I just switched it off, right? That's not going to tell me anything. Alright, uh. We're only 15 minutes in. That's a decent video. Okay, that should be all the way down. Watch the lights flicker. Yeah. The, uh, the lower, uh, the lower voltage, uh, the one that gives 12 volts versus the other one that gives 24 that adds together. This one is tripping. So, I do believe we blew it up. Yeah, this heat sink is warm. So, I won't get to know what voltage that was, because I wasn't paying close attention. But I did, pretty sure I saw 800 watts on here. Don't know what that says. So, I will give you the rundown in the comments after I view the footage, and I will see you guys in the next video.